Hi, I'm Tim. Welcome to Watchbox, and thanks for logging on. If you love this watch, email me, tmasso at thewatchbox.com. Your purchase and pricing email question line for buying this or any watch you see here on our channel, our Instagram, or our website. Reach out to me directly, tmasso at thewatchbox.com. And today we're discussing the Patek Philippe World Time 5131J001, 39.5 millimeters in red, not rose, not pink gold, red gold. This watch has an imposing presence on the wrist, bigger than its successor 5231 model it has more presence both due to the larger case and the presence of a crown guard structure. Now this watch is substantial but it's not fat. It's only 10.6 millimeters thick thanks to the micro order movement but it has a big wingspan for a dress watch at 49.1 millimeters. The spacing between the lugs is 21 millimeters and we throw it on my 16 centimeter circumference wrist. It's comfortable and it's substantial. You can see it really fills out the wrist. The shape of the lugs is wrist friendly but they are broad. The intensity of the red gold alongside the cloisonne enamel dial and the silver city ring makes for a dramatic contrast of colors, textures, and tones. Let's take a look at the hardware and the software. As you can see, it is a deluxe Patek Philippe factory strap, brand new, uncrimped, ungouged, large rectangular scale alligator leather. You have dark brown coloration with a monotone stitch and a sheer edge showing the layers of construction. There is a full matching red gold folding clasp with the Calatrava cross symbol of the brand externally. You'll note that the case is all of high polish and reflective as a result. The crown guard's adding to the visual size of the watch. It looks like a bigger watch than it is and a lot of that's down to the crown profile. The lugs are simple but strong and as you can see there's nary a straight line on this watch as everything is curving in at least one direction. There are quite a few compound curves. This is rare on watches, but the bezel is actually flush with the case band. It's not stepped in, so it visually extends the bezel. You can see the city of origin printed at the base of the bezel and the marquee Patek Philippe up at 12 o'clock in order to keep the dial clean, and that's a good decision. The Louis Cotier and Patek Philippe developed travel time system works as follows. Let's say I'm in Hawaii. I set my current city up at 12 o'clock, and you can see there's a 24-hour rotating reference ring with day-night distinction. So I just read the local hour next to the city of reference, but let's say I want to travel and visit my sister in Denver. Okay, she lives out in Denver. Now I put my reference city Denver because I'm in that city up at 12 o'clock and now you can see adjacent to the city the current hour and you can read the minute using the hand at center, but you can also read the adjacent hour next to any of the 24 reference cities representing the world's 24 principal time zones. And you can see as I adjust the time that reference ring moves so you can always read the time adjacent to a city of interest. Now the timepiece features its showpiece at center. This is a cloisonne enamel dial. The gold base that forms the core of the enamel dial is then coated with glass-based paint, vitreous paint, and fired at up to 800 degrees centigrade up to 20 times, but it's more than that. It is cloisonne enamel. So you see the cloison, or the wires of gold that are used to create the image of the landmass. Different colored enamel is used for different colors, but they also use different thicknesses, which is why you can see around the landmass the shallow water represented by a lighter blue. That's achieved with a thinner application of enamel turn it all over. We have Caliber 240HU. Caliber 240 debuted in 1977 and it has remained Patek Philippe's top of the line automatic base. The center rotors are the base. The micro rotor is the premium. It gives you an open display case back as well as a thin profile like a manual but with the convenience of an automatic. 22 carat rotor, micro rotor on ceramic rotor bearings, high tech and unlubricated, very efficient, winding a 38 to 48 hour power reserve Pivot on 33 joules, five position adjustment like a chronometer, fixed by a free sprung gyro max style index, so shock and concussion can't displace the timing of this watch. It uses an unlubricated, or I should say, anti magnetic silicon hairspring. I'm repeating my spiel about the bearings here, but the Spiromax silicon hairspring is important because it makes the watch immune to magnetism. You have the Patek Philippe seal, and the combination of the Patek Philippe seal with the Spiromax silicon hairspring endows the watch with a factory promise of no worse than minus three plus two seconds a day if worn daily. The watch, of course, is beautifully made, as you can see. It's self-evident, rich Cote de Genève, mirrored anglage, mirrored jewel and screw countersinks, a tight engine turned stippling on the base plate. You can see that the watch includes black polished screw heads with chamfered slots and circumference and a satination on all of the wheels. It's 30 meters water resistant, so 
dress watch standard, but don't take it swimming, please. And it beats away at 21,600 vibrations per hour. It is an accurate movement, a beautiful movement, and as you can see, a very useful movement. Email tmasa at thewatchbox.com for purchase and pricing details concerning this Patek Philippe 5131R travel time.